Hello, everybody. I am Alterox, and this will be another video about an election in the timeline in which FDR was assassinated in 1933. This will be the 1952 presidential election, and um, the winner of 48 was Douglas MacArthur, who would be running again. He was the he would be the incumbent. Uh, during his um, tenure as president, his administration, he would have taken like a harder line against the Soviets and probably issued some McCarthyist policies. Uh, not too strict, but still there, and it wouldn't be called McCarthyism, but you yeah, know what I mean, butterfly effects and everything. Um, he uh, would have, even though he wouldn't be in charge of the of Japan as, after the war as he was in our timeline, that would probably fall to Nimitz, as I said before, prior, I believe. Um, so Nimitz would would um, can do some more policies to him allow the Emperor to remain, probably on MacArthur's orders, um, because actually MacArthur would have been there for the first vital three years, so, yeah, so Nimitz is running there. Uh, due to the fact that America joined the war late, um, Korea is united under the Kim Dynasty, and Germany is completely united under communism, while but, like, France and the Benelux, they're democratic. Um, so, he would continue to run Douglas MacArthur, war general from Arkansas, with his um, vice president, Richard Weaver, who's from North Carolina. I'm just, like, saying things that I said last video just to catch people up. He, yeah, Weaver was... Uh, college professor, I believe, at, um, and from North Carolina, so he'd have Southern and intellectual appeal. Um, the Republicans, in hopes of backing, like, going on top of the, um, war hero, um, I can't find the word I'm thinking of, sorry, I'm recording this late at night, um, but yeah, they would run Dwight Eisenhower, who actually did run in 1952 and won, um, because he was a Republican. He was the mo he was a prominent commander, and he was also a Republican. And he would have he would have served MacArthur, Eisenhower, and Patton would still have served in the Second World War because I um, know MacArthur and Eisenhower and Patton. Uh, and I believe Nimitz was probably also around in the army in the 30s. Well, Nimitz would be in the Navy. But, yeah. Um, Eisenhower, he was from Texas. He was a general. Yeah, so he's vice president would be Paul Dever, who's from Massachusetts. He, would, he was the mayor of Boston, and he would have, like, city and anti-communist appeal. And, um, even though Eisenhower hated McCarthyism, uh, I think he would have, Dever would have become VP just to try to win over that branch as well from the Democrats, because, um, the Republicans are in a tough, tough spot as the centrist party, which is very hard in, to run at and, and do well in, in the U.S. to have a centrist political party, um, the, the Labor Party would run Estes Kefauver, and he was from Tennessee, he was a liberal who was some southern appeal, very little, but, he was pro-civil rights, so he, um, um, I believe he ran against, yeah, I think he ran against Eisenhower, or he ran in a primary, I believe, but his vice president would be Wayne Morse, Morse, who was 
Um, he was originally born in Wisconsin, but he became a senator from Oregon, for Oregon, which in this timeline has been a uh, red state. Although I do think, I don't know, but I should have thought of that when choosing Morse, but let's just say he manages to still get a senatory or like a rep, he becomes a house representative or something. In real life, uh, and in this timeline, uh, Wayne Morse was, uh, off, he was further on the left than, than the average politician at the time. He was, uh, he was a represent, uh, like, he was a representative of the anti-Vietnam movement. I believe he filibustered for, like, to fight against the war for, like, incredible length, but... So let's start with the election. You know the drills. Smaller states first, usually, uh, with a preference for the East Coast, has actual election results would come in. So, uh, first things first, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. I think we all saw this coming. They would go for, the, for Eisenhower. These states in this timeline have... Since the um, timeline became, began, I think all of these states have voted Republican. Massachusetts hasn't, though. Uh, New England, like this, but to X in 32. Sorry, there's snoring in the background. Um, uh, but. Um, Yeah, it's just, um, I'm at, uh, I'm at my grandparents' house right now when recording this, and we're all packed into, like, two, there's a person sleeping in the next room, and loud snore. Um, West Virginia would go labor. Um... Uh, yeah, um, South Carolina would go Democrat, same with Virginia, and North Carolina, and Georgia, Florida, all that would go solidly for MacArthur. Um... Delaware would also be a Democrat. Uh, Connecticut would go Republican. So would Rhode Island. And uh, Kentucky. Kentucky would go Dem for MacArthur Reaver. So would Tennessee. Now, though, there would be. Some Kafavar supporters voting for labor, uh, just incumbent appeals. And Alabama, Mississippi, South is running total dem clearly Democratic uh, so far. That's the election results. Um, Indiana would go. Oh, eh. I hate those ads. Um, yeah, Indiana, we go Republican, Wisconsin, actually, I'm gonna go back to them, Arkansas, where did I write it? go Democrat, Iowa, Democrat, Oklahoma, Democrat, Kansas, Democrat, Nebraska, Democrat, South Dakota, Democrat, um, Maryland would go Democrat, Where should I write Maryland, there we go, um, 
Massachusetts. Oh wait, no. Massachusetts would go Republican, and so would Ohio. Um. Yeah, so Michigan would also go for the Republicans. Uh, Louisiana, Democrat, that's my there. Uh, Wisconsin, I think the progressive ring of the Repo Republican Party would go out for labor and would cause labor to win because um, La Follette had won that state, La Follette Jr., and he, his push could probably, his sway could move many of the, Repu the, the former progressive party to labor instead of voting Republican. Um, Colorado, Democrat, Wyoming, Democrat, Montana, probably Democrat, North Dakota, I think they would, um, although there would be a huge movement, there would still be a lot of labor. They would eventually, this would be the election where they swayed from labor to the Democrats. Uh, Texas would also go Democrat. I know it just sounds like a um, record here. Um, Eisenhower would get New Jersey because... Um, I, I don't think they'd be that as conservative to go for MacArthur, and even though he was the incumbent, and well, well, some of the labor I think wouldn't feel Kafavar was a stronger can strong candidate and would back Eisenhower at the end because Kafa like the labor would be totally anti MacArthur, and uh, the Republicans would be the compromise candidate, which I think that was what I called Landon. In 36, compromise candidate. Uh, Oregon, Washington, Cali, all going to the Republicans. Illinois, Republican. Missouri, Democrat. Minnesota, I think, would go Republican because of the progressive Republicans there and, like, La, La Follette's way in Minnesota, like, Stas, uh, like, there would be Stassen who would have gone back to the Republicans and all these other people, so I think they would vote for Eisenhower. Um, New York would vote for Labor, as they usually do in this. Um, it's like a little triangle of states voting for labor. Uh, it's 199, 216, 65. Still any man's game, like you can assume. These, like, Utah's a given for Democrats. Arizona is. And, yeah, they're going to the Democrats. Um, but, you know, Eisenhower can still win this. <sighs> New Mexico. Go to the Democrats. Nevada. Democrats. It's starting to look as though Eisenhower can't win this. And that's true. Idaho will go to the Democrats, 235. Even if Eisenhower wins this, MacArthur would still get a majority and probably pass through Congress. And Pennsylvania is voting Democrat. They win 267. That has been the election. Um, next election video will probably not be for a while. Cause, um, well, maybe I'll do one before.